Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today we are going to be making a cave spider XP farm. So let's crack on. First up guys, what you're going to need to build this is 6 hoppers, 15 fence gates. You're going to need some slabs, not a whole stack, but a stack will do. They're easy to come by. Uh, you're going to need some blocks. You don't need to use iron, just using that for representing blocks easier. You're going to need at least 2 water buckets to create yourself a water source. You're going to need uh, 3 soul sand, 6 chests, 3 trapdoors. You don't need to use iron, but they are better. And you're going to need a light source. So guys, let's crack on with the tutorial. First of all, guys, you're going to need to come and grab your lights. This is going to be a very tricky part. You need to clear out all these cobwebs with these spiders everywhere. Now, they do poison you, uh, so the poison will not kill you, but if something, it, it will take you down to half a heart, and if something else hits you, then you'll die. So this is going to be a slow process of coming through here and taking these uh, cobwebs out and lighting everything up so they cannot spawn. Uh, the best thing to get rid of cobwebs is a sword, so just use that on there. What you're going to need to do is come through, keep this all lit up so that no cave spiders, spiders will spawn while you're making this thing. And just check guys, sometimes there's another spawner over here, which would be cool because you could make a double spawner room. But anyways, there's not one on this one, I'm taking all the cobwebs out, making sure this is all lit up so nothing will spawn. And the best thing to do guys is come in here, place a couple of torches and run away. If you get hit by one of these guys, I usually just go hide in a little cave. I just dig in like this, put a torch down, block myself off, and wait for the poison to run off, get my health back, and then go back it again. It is a slow process, guys, and uh, it's going to be hard work, but get all of that lit up. All right, guys, step two is to dig out the room like so. Now, you want to make sure you keep lighting it up as you go like this. Put torches everywhere. Uh, just so that the spiders don't spawn while you're in here because they could cause a lot of pain Anyways guys, it's three under the spawner two above and four to each side So you have a nine by nine room that is six high. That is what you want to dig out Okay guys step three is going to require some water So if you don't have a lot of buckets lying around what you can do is get two buckets of water Place them in a corner of a two by two and now you have an infinite water source in any of these corners You can just keep picking up water and it will keep replenishing after we've got the water sorted, guys, we need to pick a side that we want the spiders to come out from. So I've picked this side over here. I'm just going to close that hole up. Now, we need to come over to the opposite two corners and place in a block there and a block there. And then on top of those, we want to place water sources. And they should flow just like this. Now, this is going to give you the template of the floor that you need to dig out now. So you need to dig out each of these last water blocks on each of them, like so. And also, it's pretty easy. It just comes from the corner and goes on a diagonal so it meets in the middle. And then you want to take out one more block uh, like this as well, like that, so that it all flows over to this side like so. Then guys, you want to come to the middle block, easily found by where the spawner is and this one here. And you want to take out a three by four. So you want to go four high and three wide. This is where all your spiders are going to funnel into, guys. So what you want to do is come to this top block, place a temporary block, and then you can place a fence gate alongside it, and then another one, and then another one. You can do that by holding shift, and then you want to open all of these like that and take away that temporary block. And also on here, you want to place these. It doesn't matter which way these face, and also make sure you open all of them. Now guys, we want to start making the elevator part. So we've already dug in one block. We need to dig too high down another few blocks here. So another two and then one more. So all the way to here. Let's place these in here to make that look more fancy. All right, guys. So at the end here, we're going to take out these three blocks and we're going to place in our soul sand here, here, and here, just at the end. Then we can take fence gates, run them across the blocks just before it like that. So we have one, two, and then a fence gate, and then the soul sand. Now guys, standing on the soul sand, we want to dig up a few blocks in front of us as well. Now we want to take these, and the best thing to do is to shift click on these. We want to take these up an extra two. So we have a set of three by three fence gates here. Open them as well, any direction you would like, just like that. Now guys, after you have done that, you want to come along and take these blocks out here and you want to place three blocks back in here on top of your soul sand at the top. So this is all flat. Now you can place water buckets here and here where we placed the fence gates before and that should flow nicely across like that. So guys, the water is flowing in this direction. Now you want to have that, then these blocks, then these fence gates then a block, then another block, and then you want to place in your slabs just here. Just three slabs along like that. 
Now guys, this next part I would suggest doing with Icebox, but if you haven't got any of them, you're gonna have to do this by hand, especially if you were in Java. I think if you're not in Java, this may just make water sources and make this elevator work, but I'm in Java, so we're gonna have to place a bucket against this block here and against this one here in the corner. That should make uh, the bubbles here. Then we're gonna need to do the next level like this, there and there, and then the last level at the top there and there. And that should bring us to the top. We don't wanna place one on this top one. We want the water flowing over to here. So next guys, you wanna put a roof on this so it's only one wide like this. You wanna bring that right along to here so there is only a half block gap here. This is gonna be your killing chamber in this direction so you can start digging out here as well. And you wanna bring that along to here. Step four guys is to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet, that would be great. We have lots of Let's Plays going on and other tutorials. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more awesome videos. Links to my Let's Plays and other tutorials can be found down in the description and in the cards above. Alrighty guys, step five is the killing chamber. So we want to place an extra three blocks along here. These are optional, just for looks. Then you want to come and place your iron trapdoors along here. It doesn't have to be iron, but you can't accidentally switch these because these little blighters can actually fit through a half block space. So these trapdoors stop them from getting through here. So then you need to create yourself a little bit of a safe space. So we got one, two, and we just want to go down by three like this. So you can clear these out like this. Now you're safe down here. You also want to take these two out. Then we want to take our hoppers and push them down into these blocks here and make sure they go down like that. That's going to pick up any drops that we miss. And you can also take these blocks out here and put in your chests. So we want to go there, 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 there. And we want to do the same thing over here, just like that. And there we go, that will hold all your goodies that come out the machine. And now we can stand here and hit these guys, and we probably want to get a sword, because th that is fantastic. Man, they will not be able to hit you from down here, guys. Uh, they've, they have a very large reach, but from down here they won't be able to get you, unless you jump. So don't jump, they'll be coming right towards you, right to here, so you'll be able to just whack them from here, safely and soundly. Alrighty guys, step number six is to come in here and take all the torches out. But first of all, you want to make sure that you still have a torch on here. Uh, you need to come along to the top of the spawner guys and place two blocks above it so that they do not spawn on top. Because if they do, they'll just sit on here and it'll just they, it'll slow down the spawning here. Uh, you also need to come down here guys and replace these three blocks here because this needs to be one high. That was just so we could walk through it. And this contraption here is because the spiders like to climb this wall. So if they do, they'll get sucked up in that water over there. Right guys, this is going to be very difficult. You're going to have to come in here, take out all of the torches. Make sure you don't punch your spawner. Uh, you want to take out all the torches. I have night vision so I can see pretty well. And it's also on peaceful mode right now. But as you're doing this, the spiders are going to spawn again. So you're going to have to be careful again. You might want to get um, like regeneration potions or something like that. Or just go hide in a hole until you get your health back again. Make sure you punch out all of the torches. And there you go, guys. Your room is now finished. And guys, the spiders will start spawning pretty damn quickly while you're clearing out those torches. And uh, yeah, sometimes they get a little bit stuck in there, but as you can see, they do eventually push each other through and they go up there. Make sure you fill in all of the sides that you've carved out to get in and out, fill them up, and then you're ready to go. Now guys, if you want an optimal sword for this thing, I would suggest a Bane of Arthropods, Unbreaking, and a Sweeping Edge. But anyways, guys, it's still pretty quick to kill these guys. I have uh, Strength 2000, so yeah, it's not going to take me very long. The only problem is, guys, the XP... Uh, it gathers up there, so what you want to do is kill them all before jumping up to get it. So you can do this, kill them all, and then you can jump up when there's none there. Not like that. That was a terrible example. But anyway, guys, all of this stuff will fall into the hoppers down here. They'll be picked up and put into the chests, as you can see here. So guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description. And also, if there are any issues afterwards, I will leave a pinned comment or type them into the description later on. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or Let's Play.